Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I am going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you, what is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. What do you need to know at this moment? What do your guides want you to be aware of? So whenever you do come across this reading, it will be the right time for you to see it. As always, take our resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all of that info is in the description box below. Follow me as well on TikTok, Instagram. I'm Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. So let's take a look. I'm seeing that you've been waiting for, for some changes to happen. It's like you're not really at where you want to be or where you'd like to be. I'm seeing that for some of you, you've been in this state of like solitude, focusing on yourself and just taking time for yourself, um, taking time to kind of just be alone, reflect and do some introspection. And I definitely do see that there's been someone around you. There's some there's been someone around you who you've had like some sort of like struggle with or, or like a toxic connection with changes things are going to end up changing i'm seeing in in timing so in divine timing you know what spirit wants you to know we have miracles you have a freaking miracle coming into your life and it's gonna last for you i'm seeing the ten of cups long lasting relationship with someone happily ever after it's like your your emotions being in harmony with that rainbow there it's like you have some good stuff coming in and it looks like it's something that's gonna be lasting long term so like for some of you things kind of hit the fan in the past you've had tower moments where things just kind of broke down suddenly and abruptly I'm seeing that there's been a lot of changes in your life. A lot of things that you weren't expecting. But you have worked really hard at becoming stable and secure after everything that had happened before. I'm seeing that this could have been with because of a relationship that had suddenly abruptly ended in the past. You did not give up. I see you stood your ground. You put some sort of boundary up. I'm seeing there was something that you just weren't ready for. I'm seeing six of cups. So this is like regarding somebody that you know from possibly your past. Or even like a child that you weren't ready for. I'm seeing whoever this person is around you. They were really worried. I'm seeing like sleepless nights, nightmares, weird dreams, up at night, thinking, thinking about this person has been thinking about the past a little too much. But you put some sort of guard up for your happiness. And there is someone who I see you have connected with. This could be someone new. You have like some similarities with this person. This this may be at a distance because I'm seeing that there's distance regards to a situation. Travel. I'm picking up on travel. Okay. I'm seeing up I'm seeing that hookup. There could have been a hookup from a distance in your past, possibly. Or somebody has been like thinking about that. But I do see that there's been some sort of ending. So certain relationships have have ended. And I do see you receiving an invitation. You'll end up receiving an invitation about some sort of party or gathering. Like just to have a good time. But I do see you right now in this place where you're really trying hard to hold on to what you have to your sense of security maybe it's financial maybe it's um like trying to 
save yourself from being hurt emotionally. I'm seeing that you have been possibly even blocked off, blocked certain people out, kept your walls up in regards to uh, people around you trying not to get hurt or not wanting to get hurt. But you've gotten into a place of stability and I see you really holding on to this. But for some of you, it's like feeling like you're in survival mode where you're trying to survive to the point where you 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 work so hard that you don't want to let go there's something that you are still holding on to for some reason i'm hearing this saying if you love someone or if you love something you let it go letting something go in order to be at peace like you see how she's letting go of another bird, but she still has one bird. It's like making some sort of compromise in order to have peace in your life. Okay, I see the actions you're moving towards is like you're speaking from your heart now. And you're possibly having heart to heart conversations, opening up your heart, being very charming or romantic because there's something that you're letting go of in order to do this, following how you're feeling. Following what you what you really feel about a situation. Right? So, I definitely see that I'm hearing very soon something changing for you. Because I do see that for some of you, you're not completely satisfied with where you're at. It feels like there's something from the past that is like coming back around that kind of holds you. Every time this situation or like an invitation or something comes back around from the past, it leaves you feeling unhappy. There's someone around you who you're viewing this person as someone who is not really traditional like, they're not super, like, religious. Like, they've kind of, maybe they're spiritual, but this person has um, created a different type of lifestyle for themselves. Seven of Pentacles. Like, they have created some growth in their life. And I see this person is, like, evaluating this situation with you, seeing whether or not to continue to invest into this, kind of waiting Whoever this person is, they have to walk away from something, from a commitment. And a part of them still feels empty, emptiness inside. So I do see that this person around you could possibly be struggling. I'm seeing intuition. Whoever this person is, they're very intuitive. Maybe they're a tarot reader, psychic, medium. But like, they're trying to use their intuition in regards to the situation. But I see that... Vulnerable is what I'm picking up. This person feels vulnerable. It's like two people that are feeling vulnerable right now. You both are feeling super vulnerable. Like, do I have to really open up my heart again? It's like both of you. It's the, bo <laughs> it's the both of you that are feeling super vulnerable. But they're going to open up their heart. And I see them listening to their intuition. Wow. Expect some unexpected communication from this person. Keep in mind that this person is like quick to whatever they're, they're about to say. It's coming from a place of being hurt. Hurt. What they're communicating is coming from a place of hurt. It's like their intentions with you is to open up their emotions and be more connected to their emotions, listening to their intuition on this, listen to how they're feeling. But then it's like they come back to this place of like this person is like deeply hurt by something. That they're quick to react and they're quick to respond because of like their fears. It's like a battle between their mind and their heart. Their mind says no and then their heart says yes. So this person is viewing you. Oh my goodness. 
we got a few cards that just flew out. Okay, they're also viewing you as being hurt on the inside or being un unhappy about a situation, disappointed about something. Not They see you also as not completely trusting them. They're watching you, Aries. They're watching you intuitively. They're keeping an eye on you. So they're observing you. They're observing what you're doing. Because they feel vulnerable. I'm seeing gut feeling. So they have some sort of gut feeling about something. What is this gut feeling about? Letting go. They're having a gut feeling that they need to let go of something. Letting go of like lies or things from the past storm warning this person feels like they can't trust you so i do see that you do have, again, it's like more communication, back and forth communication. You're going to make some sort of judgment. I see you ending up making a decision. You're going to listen more to your logical side is what I'm picking up on. Oh my goodness. <gasps> giving this a chance this is gonna be one tough cookie to crack this person is like they're not gonna be ready for the action that you take I'm seeing this person is like very protective over their their heart and their emotions it's like they're, they want to see something from you first before they open up. But they're, it's going to take a while for this person to, to open up their heart. You're going to have some sort of clarity or, or like epiphany moment about this where I see you making um, a decision. It honestly looks like you'll end up taking action. I see travel even. So maybe this is someone at a distance. I do see travels. But Spirit is saying... When it feels like there's like something isn't going to work out, expect the unexpected. Because when it feels like you may be at a place where you're going to start to feel triggered, you're going to have all of these things coming up from the past, all of these memories from the past that are triggering you that make you feel vulnerable, that make you feel scared. In this moment, when you get to that place, or if you get to that place, just know, think think back to this reading because Spirit is saying that you have a miracle on the way. Expect some sort of sudden change. Miracles. Like there's gonna be some sort of miracle happening here. Like Spirit is like working miracles. <laughs> in this situation and in your life just know that like you are the chosen one because spirit is literally like creating miracles like oh my goodness ten of cups energy is like you're on the right path you're on the right path what is this triggering about though past pain inner child things from your passing things from your inner child it's like you're gonna have to confront your inner child i'm seeing it may be something about feeling single or feeling alone abandonment issues is what i'm hearing so you're gonna have to face like this inner child 
There's going to be some sort of miracle, though, within, like, a relationship. I'm seeing Ten of Cups. Something, a long-term relationship. So, I'm seeing the numbers 5, 4, 10, the letters M, T, P, I, D. Those numbers or letters could resonate for some of you. But with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. All of the info for personal readings are in the description box below. And I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.